Hello Whiplash here, welcome to another tutorial series from PH Studios. This one covers advanced techniques, which is the series right after the basic training series. It is recommended that you watch the two complete game tutorials so far, the on the main website, the paddles tutorial and the space shooter tutorial before doing these. If you don't care about doing those and do these and if you have some trouble I'm walk I'm always around to help you out so if you just want to do these that's fine now this is right after the basic training series so the first tutorial I'm going to do here is advanced distribution last tutorial we covered how to distribute your game to everybody and XNA Creators Club members only. If you want to distribute it to XNA Creators Club only, you just do package as XNA Creators Club game and distribute that .cc game around. If you want to distribute it to everybody else, you package it as an XNA Creators Club game, unpack the .cc game on your computer, zip everything up and distribute that zip. Now the advantage is it's you have complete control you can distribute that zip however you want but it doesn't give you the full list of prerequisites and it will not update when you update your game. And I'll explain what that means later on. So the next way to distribute is click once and I haven't used this that much but it's a pretty nifty tool that you can distribute your game online or on a DVD or however you feel like it I think I have two more options but I will just be doing the online one it will upload it to a FTP login that you have created or have access to and the file or folder that that FTP login has access to and once it's done it'll give you a few files on that folder one of them is a publish.htm file which will just give you the list of prerequisites and an install button along with the title and the version information and then you can install that and what's nifty is it installs on your start menu as well and it adds a uninstall to your add and remove programs so that way you can uninstall it easily and you can go to it easily on your computer another good thing about it is if you modify the game and upload it to the same directory using click once and increment the version it'll go to that every time the user launches that game it'll check for updates it'll go to your server it'll see that there's a new version out and it'll download the new updates so that's another cool thing to do of course the user has an option to download it or not so that's pretty nifty so for simplicity you need a server or a DVD or whatever you want to do but this is a pretty cool technique so how are we going to distribute it it's going to be the exact same thing as the previous tutorial we're going to do the XNA basic training we're going to get the movement part one and download that project file and save that wherever you want I saved mine to the desktop so I'll extract all then I'll launch it and it will be the complete project that we finished on that tutorial everything looks correct so now let's build and publish movement one complete and you can do this for any sample or project you want it'll just have publish and whatever your project name is 
Now I like to click browse and I chose FTP site to you have file system or two other options. I'm gonna do that. And you give it the FTP information and the account information and click OK. Now this is a problem I'm having here. Right. For some reason it keeps on saying localhost for me. So just fill that out with the location that you have your uh, FTP setup at. be all. Okay. So now click next and I just leave it as yes this application is available online or offline. Then finish. And you go to your output window and see all the stuff going on and it'll ask for your password again. And then if everything goes fine and I already did this before to test it out and make sure everything on my server was correct so I already have a version now I'll just override it. Yes. Alright. So you'll get pop-ups or warning messages or failures if something goes wrong. Sometimes they'll be down here sometimes it'll be a pop-up. Alright. So now we're on it's the server and it's the published HTML file. So if we click install, I don't know if it'll work in Firefox. Alright. Once we double click that executable, it'll bring this up. And I think you need a signer or various sign or something to not get this little freaky warning message but either way just click install and then I'll download that and it'll start it so now let's go to the start menu all programs Oops. programs it's right here I named the space shooter where is it I think I left it the basic so it's Microsoft. Yeah, there it is. If you leave it the basic, it's Microsoft. I did this before in my space shooter, so it's in PH Studios. So, let's discuss that. And your solution explorer, you have your solution and your project. So let's right click the project, go to properties. Okay. So now here we can look at the various things we can change. We can change the name, default namespace, and stuff like that. And then build, content build, build events, debug, all that stuff. Then to publish, you do the options. And it's going to be... Fill this out. Support URL. I just leave that blank. And that looks like it's good. You can check the prerequisites. See what's checked.